Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It is Sunday afternoon, September 4th. We're now entering week three of Humanities 2333 Philosophy of Life for the fall 2022 term, the first eight weeks. Well, happy Labor Day, everybody. Unfortunately, on this compressed eight-week schedule, we can't keep take the Labor Day weekend completely off. Um, the second extra credit quiz will take place tomorrow and Tuesday. So if you don't want to fool with it tomorrow, Labor Day, it'll still be up there for another 24 hours Tuesday. It's our second of two extra credit quizzes based on the material for lectures one and three. Uh, once again, everybody, nothing to lose by taking these extra credit quizzes. Uh, if you only get one item correct, you still get three extra credit points. So I hope by taking these quizzes, it will give students uh, some idea of what's going to be coming up on the exams, because the, the exam items will be similar in difficulty, I think, to the ones you see on the quiz. Okay. Now, uh, a couple of things. We have our papers due this week. First written assignment will be due this coming Thursday, Thursday the 8th. Okay. Upload them to the course website. There's an area there to which they can be uploaded. Uploaded uh, in the, I believe, the lecture three era module for Plato and Aristotle. You'll find that, or you may attach them to an email to me at david.com@opsu.edu. Everyone, um, don't stress the paper out too much. The paper is not a research paper, although a little bit of research may help you to be sure you've got a firm handle on the distinctions between the thought of Plato and that of Aristotle. There are a couple of sources mentioned, uh, online sources uh, included. There are some sources you may find in the library, but there are also online resources that would help you with this that it might be helpful for you to take a look at over and above what's in my class notes and what's in the textbook to be sure you have a firm grasp on this. Okay. Uh, anything that you draw upon you might want to cite, although on the whole, by and large, what this assignment is asking, to you is, asking you to do is to think about how you see the world. And is your view of the world closer to that of Plato or that of Aristotle? Some students are caught in the middle and cannot make up their mind, and if that's where you are, say that. That's fine. Okay, but the main point of the paper is for you to discuss your own views of how you see the world. And do you think that's closer to the views of Plato or, or that of Aristotle? Okay, now, um, rest assured, this is new material for just about all my students, but I've gotten strong papers uh, for this assignment. So. Just say what you think, and beyond that, try not to worry about it too much. And that will be due by Thursday, and we'll try to get it graded in the few days after that. Uh, I probably won't be able to get them graded all at once. I may be into the following week grading them. So if you need more time, contact me. But the official due date is Thursday. Now, everybody, on the syllabus for this week, we're finishing up Lecture 4 on the Rationalists and the Empiricists. Then we're moving on to the class notes for lecture five on uh, mind and body, including free will and determinism. And then finally, we include the class notes for lecture six on artificial intelligence, for which there is no textbook assignment. Now, everybody, let, let me just say this. There's an important distinction in lecture five that students often get confused about, and they miss the distinction, because lecture five includes Philosophy of mind, you might say, the relationship between mind and body, and that has implications for the issue of free will and determinism. Okay, now look very carefully at what the notes say, and your textbook as well, about free will and determinism. There's at least three positions you could take on the issue of free will and determinism. If you're a libertarian on the issue, that doesn't mean exactly the same thing as libertarianism as a political philosophy. In this context, it simply means you believe there is free will. Okay. Human beings do have free will. Okay. But if you don't believe in free will, 
And there's two alternatives you can take. You know, the opposite of free will or libertarianism is determinism. That what we encounter in the world, our experiences, our makeup, our physical uh, attributes, determine our behavior. That's got implications, of course, for the criminal justice system, because it suggests, it calls into question the legitimacy of, of uh, punishing people if what they do is determined. Okay, so the opposite of being a libertarian is a hard determinist, and you, in which case you believe that our behavior is absolutely determined. Now, there's another version of determinism sometimes called soft determinism. And in the video clips I'll be sending out, I don't believe that is going out yet, but I'll send you a link to that Crash Course Philosophy series. Uh, they have, I, I believe, a couple of clips about the free will and determinism issue. And one of the positions they mention, they call it compatibilism. That's what I call in my class notes, soft determinism, which is the view that we are determined, but that's compatible with holding people responsible or even punishing them, okay, which could pose a problem, I suppose, if you believe that human behavior is absolutely determined. So be sure to keep clear in your mind the distinction between hard determinism and on the other hand, soft determinism or compatibilism. Remember, both of those positions are determinist. They're, each one is as determinist as the other, but there's a difference about whether we are entitled to hold people responsible and even possibly punish them. Okay. All right, beyond that, everybody, our midterm exam is Monday the 19th. Not this week, but next week, I'll probably be running another discussion. This will be our second discussion. This one will be graded, whereas the first one was ungraded. I think the subject matter may be artificial intelligence. So be sure and take a look uh, as you have time those, in, in those notes for lecture six, the class notes for lecture six on artificial intelligence, which uh, may be a topic, topic of, of interest to those of you majoring in computer information systems. It's been an object of tremendous interest in recent decades in the discipline of philosophy, artificial intelligence. So take a look at that material and see what you think. All right, so extra credit quiz this week, paper due on Thursday, and possibly a discussion. I, well, I, actually, I'm fairly sure there will be a discussion next week that will be graded before the midterm exam on Monday the 19th. So uh, if I can be of any assistance on those papers, if you need more time on the paper, please contact me. The formal due date is Thursday, although it may take us a few days to get them all graded. Okay, so good luck on that extra credit quiz. Good luck on your papers. Study hard and take it easy, and we'll talk to you once again uh, about uh, this time next week.